Welcome once again to Commander by Danon. Today's video is brought to us by Patreon supporter Sean. Huge thanks to Sean and the rest of my Patreon supporters. Sean had an interesting request this month. He wanted to have a sort of Lord tribal list in mono blue built around Maskwood Nexus. Specifically, he wanted to run all the Merfolk cards and make the Sphinxes even bigger and scarier than they were. Sean specifically wanted Unesh Cryosphinx Sovereign as his commander. But before we get started, I'd like to quickly ask you to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel, and it's free. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. Unesh Cryosphinx Sovereign is a 6-mana 4-4 legendary Sphinx with flying. He also makes Sphinx spells cost 2 less to cast. Additionally, whenever Unesh Cryosphinx Sovereign or another Sphinx enters the battlefield under our control, we reveal the top 4 cards of our library. An opponent separates those cards into two piles. We put one pile into our hand and the other into our graveyard. In other words, so long as our commander is on board, each Sphinx entering the battlefield is basically a fact or fiction. So we want lots of Sphinxes, as well as lots of ways to tutor up Maskwood Nexus. This will make all of our Merfolk Lords pump our Sphinxes, and all of our Merfolk will draw us cards when they enter the battlefield. But before we get to our deck list, we should keep in mind our checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, 1 sudden I win card. Nykthos Shrine to Nyx, Demolition Field, Field of Ruin, Myriad Landscape, Reliquary Tower, Rogue's Passage, and 30 Islands. Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Sky Diamond, Thought Vessel, Felwar Stone, Mind Stone, Heraldric Banner, and Scepter of Eternal Glory make up our mana rocks. Sapphire Medallion for cost reduction, Wayfarer's Bauble, Mycosynth Wellspring, Burnished Heart, and Solemn Simulacrum for land ramp. Finally, Extra Planar Lens, Gauntlet of Power, and Caged Sun for mana doubling. Defiler of Dreams, Ristic Study, Bident of Thassa, Felden's Cane, Factor Fiction, Flow of Knowledge, Windfall, Fabricate, Consecrated Sphinx, Windreader Sphinx, Sphinx of Foresight, Sphinx of Uthun, Archmage Ascension, Arkham Dagson, Sphinx of Enlightenment, Blue Sun Zenith, Pull from Tomorrow, and Echo of Eons make up our card advantage package. Slip out the back, Propaganda, Kapala, Warden of Waves, Lightning Greaves, and Swiftfoot Boots for protection. Our counter magic package consists of Swan Song, an offer you can't refuse, Arcane Denial, Counterspell, Essence Flux, and Negate. For spot removal, we've got Pongify, Reality Shift, Resculpt, and Commit Memory. Aetherize. Inundate, and Consuming Tide should help to reset the board if things get out of control. Adaptive Automaton, Grand Architect, Lord of Atlantis, Master of the Pearl Trident, Merfolk Sovereign, Marrow Regery, and Paragon of Gathering Mists serve to help pump our team. Universal Automaton works great in our deck. Dazzling Sphinx for card theft. Spawning Kraken for extra creatures and basically free 9-9s. While Maskwood Nexus makes up the key card in our deck. 
along with Xenograft acting as a backup for Maskwood Nexus. Now that we have our decklist, we should compare it to our checklist. 52 mana sources split between 35 lands and 17 pieces of ramp. A little heavy, but Sphinxes can get expensive, so it's fine. 19 pieces of card advantage, counting our commander. 15 pieces of interaction. 3 board wipes. 3 pieces of graveyard hate. No sudden I win cards, but if we have enough lords and sphinxes on board when Maskwood Nexus hits the table, we should be able to take someone out right away. I said that Xenograft is part of this deck as a sort of backup to Maskwood Nexus. If we cast it early game, we'll want to name Sphinxes, because then every Merfolk we cast will trigger Unesh, drawing us cards. But if it's in the end game, you'll want to name Merfolk, so that all of our Sphinxes get pumped up. The card isn't as good as Maskwood Nexus, of course, but having a backup plan is usually a good idea. The deck is full of shenanigans, and I can't wait to hear from Sean how it played out. Do you have a Sphinx tribal deck? What about a Maskwood Nexus deck? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, there's a link to her Fiverr page below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash One of the tiers is specifically set up for Commander. For only $25, I will build you a custom Commander deck based around your specifications and even do a deck video on it. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons, Waffles, Jiraiya, Muffins, Marcus, Phoenix of Ice, Squishy, Brett, Roxy, Brian, Josh, Sean, Othon, and Richard. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos often, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Also, if you're a fan of anime and manga like I am, feel free to check out my other channel, Musings by Danon. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Danon.